Tuesday evening, Hudson County TV sat down with Hoboken Housing Authority Executive Director Carmelo Garcia and his attorney Luis Zayas. We talked about the lawsuit alleging that Mayor Dodd Zibber tried to ethnically cleanse the city of Hoboken, where her husband, Stan Grossbard, and the former chairman of the Housing Authority, Jake Stiver, were named. They told us at length why the lawsuit was filed, how they attend to win in court, and went into detail about just about everything that was written in the complaint. Story. Anytime. I felt it was necessary because for a year I've been undergoing major harassment, intimidation, coercion, to do things that I felt very uncomfortable with. Therefore, in order to corroborate what I knew made me felt uncomfortable and in order to have evidence, proper evidence of what they were doing, I had to uh, record that particular meeting simply because I thought maybe no one would believe me or more so we would be giving that to the authorities in fact to go and look into what they were asking of me to do and what they had been pursuing of me for the last months and year that I have been undergoing uh, that particular harassment and intimidation. I mean the reality of it is uh, my experience has been one that I've suffered uh, emotionally. I've had to deal with uh, a compounding of, of, of an onslaught of just, you know, the harassment. I've had to basically, you know, deal with something that as of right, I should not have to undergo as the executive director of the housing authority, as a professional, uh, as a person who is just trying to do the right thing for my agency. So I felt it was the right thing to do. And that's why I needed to produce whatever evidence to corroborate what I was alleging and what I had claimed that would later on be, be discovered in the complaint that my attorney filed on my behalf. So, you know, that's pretty much, you know, on top of everything going on, which has been covered uh, via public minutes, uh, with their attempt to try to uh, rice me and terminate my contract, with the attempt to insert, you know, a, um, a deputy executive director consultant, and all in all asking me to give them the professionals, which, you know, I have tried, you know, tirelessly to uh, at consult and educate them on what is the right process, the right thing to do. And moreover, the fact that I knew that this Division 2020 was a big issue, and that in itself you know, I was affecting uh, the relationship and he should not, the mayor's husband should not be the wheeler and dealer. He should not be sitting at a table to negotiate uh, with me or to try to put me in my place on what he felt when you read the transcript was his position, you know, to the point of calling me a janitor of the housing authority uh, and to questioning whether or not I am the sole appointing authority for the housing authority, which was later on proven, you know, in, in a public meeting that yes, by contract, by statute, that is uh, the, the authority that I have. And there is a process, there's a procurement process. And I would not allow them to uh, entrap me or get me in a position where I felt I was being threatened. And if I didn't go along with what they wanted in playing ball and, 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 and pass the pledging process to join their team, this is what uh, they decided uh, to do. And, and, and that was part of the process is my experience. No one will take away my experience who has walked in my shoes on, on the sufferings that I've had, you know, under the, you know, iron fists of these uh, people and, and, and their ways of operating to get you to do what they want you to do. Oh, why did you decide uh, to say that this was an ethnic cleansing effort by the mayor and her administration? Obviously strong words and you backed it up with facts, but why did you think that was the appropriate uh, phrase here? Well, I only characterize it based on the evidence as I understand it. Um, when you intentionally or un unintentionally decide to implement a plan or obstruct a plan that has the effect of removing a significant portion of certain ethnic groups, whether Hispanics or minorities, that has the effect of cleansing them out from a certain area. And that is what the complaint alleges. That's what we intend to prove, and that's what we intend to stop. Uh, strong words, but no stronger than the actions taken by the mayor in order to implement that policy of hers. The fact of the matter is, Carmel Garcia has sought to keep um, uh, residents at Hoboken, who are predominantly minorities, and also uh, individuals who have not historically supported Mayor T uh, Zimmer. And by keeping those folks there in Hoboken constitutes a, a, a group that opposes her or doesn't historically support her. 
and she has sought to kick him out through her uh, attempts to control the board of uh, commissioners. And I, we believe that we can establish that through her manipulation of certain uh, decisions on the board that Carmelo Garcia's plan on behalf of the um, Housing Authority is in risk of not being implemented at, at, at the great cost of the minorities who currently live in Hoboken. Now, the people that support Don Zimmer, um, as you know, some of the transcript material from the tape recording has leaked out, and some people believe that it was basically a waste of his time because there's really nothing incriminating out there. I'm sure you would like to argue otherwise, though. Well, I, I can't respond to uh, rumors or, uh, you know, or you know, I, I don't know who's saying that, but uh, I think the transcript is damning. Anybody who understands how the uh, housing authority works, understands what the criminal procedures and criminal laws uh, prohibit, would see clearly that what was happening here was nothing short of an improper attempt to influence the decision making of the executive director of the housing authority through coercion, uh, namely the threat to his employment. Uh, it's no different than you put a gun to someone's head. You, uh, uh, Mayor Zimmer's proxies are basically attempting to coerce Mr. Garcia to adopt certain policies that are favorable to the mayor, then and unless he plays balls, he's going to uh, lose his job or be at risk of losing his job. Um, I, I see how that's not an improper threat to a public official. I don't see how that's uh, criminal. Uh, and so that is one of the reasons that uh, uh, Mr. Garcia tape recorded the conversation because as anyone who watches TV, uh, CSI or any other law enforcement TV uh, shows, they know that a tape recording of a conversation that's designed to be private uh, is the best evidence to uh, demonstrate what was dis discussed between the parties. Unfortunately, when you're engaged in uh, wrongdoing, uh, usually the people who are trying to engage in wrongdoing, who are trying to uh, intimidate an individual, are not going to disclose it to the public. So, Mr. Carmelo. Uh, tape recorded the conversation in order to turn it over to the appropriate authorities. Because Now, I don't know if you could answer, but I'll still ask, uh, would you be able to tell us what sort of recording device was used in this uh, situation? We're not going to disclose the, uh, our investigatory techniques involved in this case. Okay, simple enough. And then are there any other recordings involved with this case that haven't been released or unearthed yet? Well, like I said earlier, this is an ongoing uh, civil investigation and uh, we don't intend to disclose any other information regarding our investigatory uh, uh, involvement. Carmelo, you know, this is arguably the biggest story in Hudson County now. Uh, of course, it's Hudson County. There's always something going on, so it's up for debate. But nevertheless, it's certainly a hot topic among a lot of circles that don't usually even talk about Hoboken. So in any way, do you regret filing the lawsuit? In any way, do you regret tape recording that lunch? Not at all. I'm a man of great integrity, and you know what, when it comes to my family, my livelihood, my professionalism, you know, I will do the right thing. And I think overall, you know, you should be, anyone should be courageous enough to expose a hypocrisy and to expose something that affects their civil rights and affects them as a professional. I don't think anyone should be in any way condemned simply because they had to choose to do something to protect themselves that they had to choose to do something that they felt they were uncomfortable with what was being asked of him or of her. And I would support and say that, you know, anyone who uh, exposes hypocrisy and tells the truth about what is going on, when, he, when they've asked to please stop, cease from the actions that you're embarking on because it makes someone feel uncomfortable, then that should be respected. But when you try to strip away somebody's uh, respect and authority and you embarrass them and you continue to harass them and you try to compound their uh, work life and you try to basically make them uh, seem, belittle them and degrade them in their position, which is what they've done via their proxies online. Uh, and they continue to do that in a manner that it's a new age harassment. It's a new New age, you know, cyber bullyism. And at the end of the day, you know what? I know that I can live with myself, go to sleep at night with a clean conscience, knowing that I did the right thing. Because they're not a friend of mine, nor am I to worry about the fact that, you know, at the end of the day, if someone like 
The mayor's husband is trying to sit with me to wheel and deal and negotiate in a manner that they feel they can put me in my place because they see me as, as less than them or inferior to them, then in fact, yes, it is the right thing to expose what they're up to. And that's what I felt I did. I'm John Hyde of Hudson County TV. For more information, log on to HudsonCountyTV.com.